Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Hey, I just wanted to give a quick thanks to one of our sponsors at Simple Programmer, which is Dev Mountain Bootcamp. You should go check them out. The link is in the description. They are a coding bootcamp and they can teach you web development, iOS development, UX design, a lot of good stuff. I get a lot of feedback from a lot of you out there that email me and have told me about Dev Mountain, so I decided to check them out myself. And I, I like what I found. I like their programs. They offer uh, some 12 week intensive programs. They also offer some after hours programs, which I know that some of you will like. So go check them out you can see the link in the description below dev mountain Bootcamp, and a big thank you to them for sponsoring simple programmer so i got a question here about blogging uh, if you want to check out some of my videos on blogging you can check out the playlist here uh, i talk about this a lot and i've got a free course on blogging you can check out as well there'll be a link in the description but this question i get quite a bit which is should i make a wordpress blog or a Medium publication. As Medium has become more popular as a blogging platform, and it's pretty slick, more people are asking this question. So I thought I'd answer this here. I love how some of you are giving me the pronunciations for your name because I butcher them so many times. But, uh, but here we go. So this is from Michael Leung, and he says it's Lee Ung, Ung as in Lung, from San Francisco. So Michael Lee Ung, got it, all right. He says, Hi, John, I've already decided with my co-founder to start our blog on Medium, but I just wanted to get your input on this. Should I make a WordPress blog or Medium publication? A Medium publication is free and offers everything I need to get started, ads, custom domain, analytics, Arthur, uh, hierarchy, and Facebook slash Twitter integration. While WordPress has the potential to cost hundreds for the same stuff, plus a few plugins and fancy templates. So it's no secret that I'm a big fan of WordPress. Well, sort of, I have a love and hate relationship with WordPress, but I think it's the best platform for blogging. I'll, I'll plug here, you can check out, for, more, for a lot more details, check out my free blogging course on how to create a blog to boost your career. It's free, it's delivered by email, and it will give you everything you need to know about blogging and setting up your WordPress site and all that. But the, the, the question here, so here's what it comes down to, right? Between Medium and WordPress, and, and, and don't get me wrong, WordPress is not the most, most easy to use, fastest piece of software. It's getting better, right? I, I actually think it is. But, and, and Medium is, is slick. It's awesome, it's got all that stuff integrated. I mean, I, I looked at Ghost before, and Ghost is slick, it, you know, and, and even having uh, pages, there's, uh, what's it, Jekyll, and you know, static HTML pages that you, you generate, pre-generate HTML. I've looked at all this stuff, right? So I'm not, I'm not an amateur here. I know this, all this stuff is out there, but I still use WordPress for all my sites, and I'll tell you why. It has to do with the amount of plugins and the flexibility that you have, and also the support that you have if you need to find a WordPress developer, you need custom stuff created or built for you, right? That's, that's why I choose WordPress. But let's not talk about even that. Let's talk about the, the idea between using something that's like a hosted service for you, Medium versus WordPress. So what you really want to make sure that you do is that you own your content when it's a blog, okay? Now Medium is great, it has a lot of reach, it's awesome features, it's all that, right? And there's a lot of other blogging platforms that might be totally free, okay? That you could put your blog on and you could add your content to, but is that really the best place that you should, you should put your stuff, right? You don't own that, you don't control Medium. If Medium shuts down your blog, you're done. If they turn off your traffic, you're done. If they change the algorithm, you're done, right? Right? All of that stuff is, is you're, you're putting into their hands and to me your website, your blog is, is really important. So what I always recommend is that you create your own site and create it in WordPress and make your blog there. Yes, it may cost you a little bit more money up front. It's not going to cost you much though, right? And yes, it may be a little bit more headache up front, but you'll own the content. It'll be your content, not you using someone else's platform. You'll own the domain, right? All of these things are really important. And then you can republish your stuff to Medium, okay? Because what you really want to have especially as your company develops, is you want to have that SEO juice, right, from Google. You want to have the search traffic coming into your blog, to your domain, and your domain ranking. And if Medium shuts down for some reason, right, if 
whatever blogging platform shuts down for some reason and you're using their domain to do the blogging and you're using their platform or their tools or, or whatever it is, maybe they, they start censoring your, your talk and they don't like what you're saying. So they, they, they delete your blog post and shut down your blog, right? Any of those things could drastically affect you, whereas if you've got your own domain, you've got your own website set up, right, and you're using something like WordPress, you don't have to use WordPress, but I, I recommend it. If you do that, you're, you're sort of, you're anti-fragile against that kind of thing, right? There's not a lot that's going to wreck you and, and totally wreck your day, you know, aside from someone attacking your server, but you can recover from that. You can put a backup up, right? But, you know, you, you got to think long term, down the road. If you're successful and, you know, the worst thing that could possibly happen for you is you're getting all of this traffic to your blog, right, on Medium, and then five years down the road, Medium shuts down and you're getting, you were getting all this traffic and now you get zero traffic and you have to start over and build a new website and actually create a domain and, and start to get ranking on, on a bunch of search terms. So the value for you, right, as, as, a, as someone who has a blog, who has a website, is in the domain, is in owning that content and being the, the person who controls that content, right? Uh, you know, I, I actually have a bit of a, I actually started to think about this when I was thinking about the answer to this video and I have this problem with YouTube, technically, right? I should technically, if I'm eating, and I, I probably will switch this at some point in the future. You know, I, I didn't think about this when I first started on the platform, but I probably should have been posting my videos originally on my website exclusively, and then and then syndicating them to YouTube so that I was controlling all the content there, right? Now I've got all the videos, like I, I own that 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 property, but I didn't think about that that much. I mean, YouTube's a little bit of a different beast, but but definitely in the web, it's easy enough for you to create your own site. And even though Medium is appealing and, and all this, and I understand, uh, if you want to create a second blog on Medium, I mean, you're not going to have time, but sure, you could do that. But my advice for most people right now is just syndicate to Medium if you want to be on the platform. And you're going to have to sacrifice some of the, it's worth sacrificing some of the stuff to make sure that you own the content and that you have the full rights to your own blog. Otherwise, later down the road, it could really, really hurt you. It, it really can, and I've seen this happen to people before. Uh, it almost happened to me when I was using the hosted WordPress and I didn't have my own domain. And I, I mean, I quickly switched off of that, but I did lose some initial traffic. And so I'm, I'm just warning you, you know, it, it may seem appealing, but, but go with your own site. All right, if you like this video, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click that subscribe button below and click the bell to make sure you don't miss any videos when they come out. I'll talk to you next time, take care.